on the scoreboard will be the Lady Trojans of Parker's Chapel, coached by Justin Welch. Their starting lineup, starting at guard, a senior, number 12, Mackenzie Morgan. Guarding at guard, a senior, number 23, Grace Rainwater. Guarding at guard, a senior, number 30, Bella Frisbee. Starting at forward, a sophomore, number 34, Bella Goodwin. And starting at forward, a junior, number 50, Krista Rivers. Home team on the scoreboard will be Coach Chase Reeves, Horatio Lady Lion. His starting lineup, starting at guard, a junior, number 23, Addison. Okay, basketball fans, we are back for our second girls game for the evening. Coach Bowman back here with uh, Easton Leonard back for the, uh, the nightcap. And we are ready to go with the Horatio Lady Lions and the Parker's Chapel Lady Trojans. But I got somebody, uh, we got a few guys, people in the chat maybe can help me out. I'm, if you can hear me, make sure to let me know. For some reason, my uh, stream's telling me our audio is not very good. But we are about ready to tip it off, Easton. I'm ready. That game before, was, it seemed a lot closer than the score. The score yeah. Out. I think uh, the Outlaws made a good run at it in the third quarter, and uh, but Junction City just too much for them. But we had a great first girls game this uh, this afternoon, uh, close game. So hopefully we got another good one. The two three matchups usually are a little closer games than the one fours, and that's what we got here tonight as we get started. From what I understand, this is a rematch from last year's first round game. They played each other. Yep. And Horatio won by 11 last year, so we'll see what happens. You got some ties to Horatio? I don't. You don't? Yeah, we've seen Horatio a few times this year. They've played the Lady Tigers, obviously, in the same conference. Haven't seen Parker Shepard yet. And that's a. Uh... Big three-point basket to start us off right there. Um, that's uh, Van Vos from Horatio. Block shot right there. Ball's going to go out of bounds. But it'll stay with the Trojans. Thank you guys in the chat for... Communicating with me there. Feel free to chime in anytime. I love to see what you guys are thinking and see what that's like. a tough shot right there from the Lady Trojans. I know this is probably a far drive for Parker's Chapel. Pretty good, pretty quick, good trip. So they may have some more fans watching online than are here as Horatio throws it out of bounds. How far away is Parker Shop? It's a good trip. I, I think it's over by, uh, is it somewhere close to Pine Bluff? Somewhere over there? I don't know. I haven't had geography class in a while. Maybe somebody can let us know exactly where Parker's Chapel is. Shot up no good. Parker's Chapel on the offensive glass. Yeah. Oh, 
Marcus Chow. Thanks, Emily. Marcus Chow was three and a half hours from Akron. So that's a little bit of a, a trick. I thought Fordyce was a ways, but I think Parker Shepard got that one. And Jackson said he's way down there. Yep. Shot up, no good. And Ray with the rebound. Parker Chapel is by El Dorado. Did we get a turnover. It's in north of Junction City, so. Yeah, pretty good trip for, for these guys. Shot up. From Parker Chapel, that was 23 Rainwater. And she ties the game up. Kicked out. For an open three, no good. Long rebound to Parker Chapel. They're going to push it. And then slow it down. There's Rainwater again. Letting it fly, no good on this one. And Horatio is going to bring it up. Drive there by Glasgow. And she's going to get fouled by Rainwater. She's going to go to the line to shoot, too. I'd say the winner of this one probably wasn't expecting to play Spring Hill. Whoever gets to get to yeah. that guy. Uh, for those unaware, just a couple days ago, uh, Fordyce had to forfeit their games in the second semester due to an ineligible player playing and so too late to do anything about it for the regional tournament and uh, that means Spring Hill gets an automatic buy and a bid to the state tournament so uh, but they were the four seed as Fordyce was the one and so uh, you don't don't always usually get those four seeds in the second round but they're going to get a chance so you, you know you say you uh, Lucky, blessed, whatever, but you get a chance to keep playing, and that's always big. So they haven't played, and they're already going to the state tournament. Yeah, I suppose that's a huge uh, kind of pressure release off of you there to not have to worry about that nerve-wracking game to get in. This first-round game is always the worst because you lose and you go home. Something on the offensive end. Nice little scoop shot there uh, by Frisbee. Got some hustle right there. Bodies on the floor. I love it. And Parker Chapel's gonna get a, gonna get the ball there after the jump. There by Frisbee. Defense! For Parker's Chapel. Defense! 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 Oh, there's a steal. Defense! 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 That's a tough shot right there. Good defense for the ratio. And they're going to pull down the rebound and look to push it. Pass down inside. Good beat by Parker's Chapel. But. Ray's going to stay with it, and they're going to count the basket. She's going to go to the line. She'll go to the line. 
for the and one chance right there. Kind of a weird turn of events right there. Yeah. It wasn't bad defense on the first initial uh, attempt there, and then uh, she just stayed with it and got the foul in the bucket. And gets the three-point play. Just from thinking back to when Horatio played Aker, I feel like 25 Ray is kind of a do-it-all for Horatio. Yeah. A big, a pretty good a big, a big part of what they do. Three-point basket, no good, rebound, no good. Carter Shepard pulls it out, loses it, saves it, falling out of bounds, but right to Horatio. Jumper at the elbow, no good. Parker Chapel pulls down the rebound. And we're gonna get it out of there. Doesn't feel like there's been too many stops here in the first quarter. No, it's been uh, fast and furious. We're down to a minute and a half left in the quarter already. Not a whole lot of whistles. Side for Horatio. Was that Van Vos again? Van Vos again. She's got five already for Horatio. Frisbee from three. Just short. Horatio pulls down the rebound. Less than 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Ball bounces off Horatio's foot, and Carter Schaffer pulls away with it, and they're going to get a foul on that's Van Ray. Rose. That's her second. Oh, Van Vos. Yeah, that's her second foul right there. That doesn't that doesn't bode well for Horatio. Already got two. Looks like she's probably going to get a. We're going to leave Van Vost in with two fouls. I'm going to need somebody from Parker Chapel to chime in for me. Uh, I coach tennis, and uh, I believe Frisbee is a tennis player as well. Parker Chapel has got a very good tennis program uh, over there. I don't put some more time on the Okay. So we're, all right, so we're going back. we got a little time left. They called the travel before the clock expired. So it looks like they're going to put half a second back on the clock. It'll be Horatio Ball. So they're I don't, probably just going to throw it in right here, and that's it. Okay, so now we'll go to the end of the quarter. Uh, I know there's a Frisbee somewhere that plays tennis. And I, if I'm not mistaken, she's pretty good. And she's a golfer, apparently, too. So, all-around all stud athlete right there. She's leading the, the Lady Trojans as, with uh, seven right now. Seven of their nine points, so. I feel uh, like there was a time there in the first quarter that went by pretty quick, but Parker Sharple, I feel like, was going to... 
take and run with it. Yeah. We got a one point game. Yeah, I know. They're right back in it. All right. All right, Daklin. Come on, man. You're just All you're saying right there is that you've never played tennis before. You don't think tennis is a real sport. Oh, she's going to she's SAU. She's going to SAU on a full ride for golf. That's impressive right there. So, cool. Bro, you're killing me. That just means you ain't no athlete, Declan. That's all that means. You got to get out there and play it, dude. Got to get out there and play it. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> tennis is a real man sport. Just telling you. Go play it one time and you'll find out. All right, back to the start of the second quarter here. Horatio's got a one-point lead. No, I'm sorry. Parker's Chapel has a one-point lead. Big rebound there from Parker's Chapel. That was Ray on the block shot. Good defense down there. Oh, almost a turnover there, but somehow comes away with the ball. Lockby there with the basket. She's the smallest girl out on the floor, and she just kind of meandered her way through everybody. Points and points, I guess. Yep, you'll take them. Horatio with the rebound there, pushing it up the floor. <laughs> oh, and Ray's going to travel right there. We saw that a lot yesterday in the girls' game and a couple times in the first game. For some reason, whatever it is, uh, girls like to move that foot before they put the ball down uh, when they make a little pump fake. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, these referees little, definitely are looking for it. Try to get a little quick with it. Yep. Nice entry pass right there. Good move. Good one right there. With a good post move on a nice entry pass, and she'll get fouled. She's going to go to the line to shoot, too. Second one's good, and that gives Parker Chapel the lead back. Good defense to stay with it right there by Parker Chapel knocked the ball out. So it'll be a Horatio ball on the baseline deep in the corner. I feel like there's been a couple plays so far where the ball just kind of gets poked ahead and there's a lot of running but not much scoring going on. Yeah. Both teams definitely getting after each other. Deep three ball right here from Horatio. Wins in and out. been from NBA range right there. Oh, we're going to get a late whistle there. And that's going to be a foul on Horatio's Lockby. He called that on Morgan. Lockby right stole the it. They're going to call the foul on Blue. Okay, they're going to call it on Parker's Chapel. They're going to call it on Morgan after the steal. Up 
So Lockby got the steal. And they call the foul. All right, so we got a little, little mix up right there. Scoreboard thought the foul was on uh, Horatio also. And so we got it worked out, I think. Back to the action. Horatio ball. Parker's Chapel setting up in a little zone right here. They're going to skip pass. Swinging it around. Attack the zone. Tough shot right there. Offensive rebound. And a little body right there. Might have could have called a foul. But Horatio gets the offensive board. They're going to kick it out. Three, no good. Offensive board again. There's Lochte. She's going to hit the three. Horatio pulls down the rebound. I don't remember ever seeing Logby playing before, but ever yeah. since she's came in, she's she's been uh, got the layup. She's got some steals. Yeah, she's been playing tough off the bench. I wonder if uh, I wonder if she might be a freshman. Maybe I'm played up. On yeah, after the the district tournament, so, you know, the junior high district tournament. So. Basket by Parker Chapel. Anybody from uh, Horatio confirm our suspicions that Lockby is indeed a freshman? So we got another foul down here on Parker's Chapel. That's going to be on Rainwater. That's her second. So she may be, uh, yeah, if I'm getting some, yes, she is. So uh, for our freshman, Lockby, I think. So Rainwater is going to come out, going to get a break with two fouls. Sorry, our scoreboard is a little messed up. We got confused there, but this is the right score now. Horatio is up to 16-14. Parker's Chapel from the corner. We have no good. Ball's tipped around, out of bounds, off of Horatio. with the rebound, pushing it up the floor, and we're going to get a poke foul from behind. That will put uh, Horatio at the line. That's 34. That's a good one. Going to pick up her third? Third foul. Oh, man, that's her third foul. In the first half, we got 338 left to go. First free throw is no good. Looks like uh, coach is gonna. Nope, she's gonna. Well, she's gonna get her, but she won't be on the base. So yeah. 
So Goodwin's going to have a seat for Parker's Chapel. Probably a good idea. Don't want her picking up fourth in the first half. Although we did have that in the first game. Um, fourth foul in the first half and, and didn't foul out actually. Did a great job in the second half. So nice move. Big score right there. From Rivers. Good, good pass on the backside. Oh, sold the layup. Gets the rebound. We'll stay here with Ratio. And they're going to call a foul. Who's that one going to be on? That's going to be on Frisbee. It's only her first. First free throw is up and good for Glasgow. Couple fouls in a row from Parker Chapel, and we're hearing the call it on both ends. Already. Yeah. <laughs> the fans are fired up. They're going to get a foul right there. A little push. From Ray. That's our first. Two point lead for Horatio. Parker's Chapel with the ball. We got three minutes left to go. Circus shot from Frisbee almost goes in. Ratio with the ball. Uh, tough pass right there with a little defensive pressure, and that's going to be a turnover. Nope. They're going to say it tipped off Parker's Chapel. Got five seconds left on the shot clock. We're going to get a timeout by Horatio. I wasn't over there to see it, but nobody wearing blue like that call. Glasgow. Thanks, Rodney. On the pronunciation. I try not to butcher him, but so we got two eighteen left to go in the half. Been a pretty tight game so far. The Lady Lions from Horatio with a two point lead. They'll have the ball deep in the corner of their own end. I think it's safe to say Horatio started a little bit slower than they probably wanted to, but. Yeah. Three point basket, no good. Didn't quite have her feet set on that one. Offensive rebound there by uh, Sidwell, but then she uh, traveled with it as she was coming down and falling to the ground. <laughs> Van Vos is going to come back in. She's been out most of the second quarter with two fouls. Three point basket, no good. Shot in the lane. Ratio no good. We're going to get a jump ball right there. Parker Chapel is pretty upset about that call, but I think that was two Parker Chapel players bumping into each other, falling down. The ratio player was there, but I don't think she made much contact. They were kind of already going to the ground. And Parker Chapel has the ball. Kick out. No good on the shot. Offense rebound by Frisbee. Trying to draw some contact. No 
call there, and uh, Horatio is going to come out with it. We got just over a minute left to go in the half. One under the basket over there, missed her. Got one and still on the other side. Can't get it over there. Don't see her. And here comes Frisbee on the attack. She gets the basket and the foul. She's pumped up. She's going to go to the line for the three-point play. Have a chance to get the lead back for Parker's Chapel. That's the second foul on Ray. Second foul on Ray. And that's uh, locked me back in the game. We're under a minute to go in the half. Tied ball game. Frisbee at the line, misses the free throw. Horatio pulls it down. Might have got away with a travel right there. That one wasn't a travel. Her foot stayed on the ground. Parker Chapel wants it. That's a travel right there, and they're going to get it. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of feet moving. The first one was probably a travel. The second one was not. She kept her foot on the ground, but the third one definitely was also. So they, they got it. A lot of weird halfway jumps on this. Yeah. It looked yeah. like Charles. It looked like she got off the ground, but she kept one foot on, so that's that's a clean play. Frisbee's gonna drive in, she's gonna get the layup off. Missed it. Ball tip. That'll be the end of the half. Frisbee had a good look at a bucket right there, but uh, just couldn't quite get it. So we'll end the first half. All knotted up, 18-18. Easton will be back in about 10 minutes for the second half.
All right, basketball fans, we are back for the start of the second half of our third game tonight. And it is all knotted up at 18. Horacio will have the basketball to start the half. We're going to try to get it down inside. To Ray, and she'll get fouled. Tip ball there by Frisbee. She comes over the steal. Regains her balance and she's going all the way to the basket. Misses the layup. Horatio comes away with it. Good ball movement there. Three ball by, by Ray to get the scoring started in the second half. There's a lot of energy in the first half. It looks, I'm excited for the second half. Yep. Well, it looks like we got another tight game. Steal right there. She's going to take it all the way in. That was Sidwell with a steal in the basket. So Horatio jumps out five points quick. Parker Chapel trying to go inside. They're going to go down a good one. And uh, she's going to draw the foul. The Sidwell's first foul. And good one will go to the line to shoot two. First one is up and in. Second one's good. Defense! 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 Little, little pressure here by Parker's Chapel. They're gonna get the tip. Frisbee gets the tip and Parker's Chapel comes away with the steal. Frisbee's gonna turn the corner, pull up. Elbow jumper, no good. Horatio with the rebound. We're going to push it up the floor and then slow it down and set up the offense. gets bailed out. That's Morgan for Parker's Chapel going to pick up her second foul and it's kind of a it's kind of a tough one there. That was probably a better job by uh, Glasgow from Horatio to kind of draw that foul. Uh, just kind of got right up into her arm and uh, drew the foul call. Sold it a little bit there. Kind of a weird play, but she got the ass all up. So, no free throws. And Uncle Chapel fans are about to go crazy. That probably could have been a foul call right there, and they didn't get it. But that one looked, looked like a foul. And that one probably wasn't a foul, but they got it. <laughs> that, that was <laughs> maybe a little makeup call right there. A little there, make up for somewhere, I guess. That was uh, Ray's going to pick up her third, so that's tough for Horatio. Uh, she's a big part of their game. Free throws, no good. Referee trying to justify his call over here to coach from Ratio, but um, I don't know that that one was a foul. I wouldn't have called that one. I would have definitely called the first one before I'd have called that one. 
I'm not but, sure who the person would have been on, but it's unfortunate for Ray if it wasn't her. Yeah, I think so. We'll see uh, if you wind up with that third one. So there's Ray from the top. Oh, just a little off. And it'll go back over to Parker's Chapel. Parker Chapel is going to get a timeout right here. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Horatio is going to have that five point lead. Parker Chapel definitely capable of making a, a run. Uh, he's got to get something going. You know, I. As a coach, as a uh, coach of ball players, you know, you, you like to have your players kind of not worry about referees and not worry about things they can't control and just go out and play the game. And yeah, has there been a few fouls that might have could have been called? Sure. Has there been some that, that uh, for both sides? Absolutely. Um, so you just got to forget about what you can't control. Go play hard. Both these teams seem pretty evenly matched, so. Two pretty good teams, in my opinion. This has been a fun game so far. Yep. And usually I'd like to see 100 points put up, but the defense has made yep. this one look really interesting. Missed shot right there from Rivers. I think she can do some work down low, but she's got to make shots like that. She's had a couple in the first half. And, uh, she can definitely, she's got a little advantage posting up down inside, so got a good, pretty good uh, pretty good move in the paint. She's just got to finish it. Here comes the double. Frisbee pokes it out from behind. Oh, sold the layup. Frisbee gets it back. She puts it up. No good, but she's going to go to the free throw line. 25, that's four on Ray. That's not good. That's our fourth foul. She's got to be smarter than that right there. She's got to stay in the game for Horatio. Uh, and now she's got her fourth. She's going to have to go sit down, I would imagine. Yeah, and she'll go take a seat. I'd imagine we don't see her until the fourth quarter. Horatio's going to kind of try to hope they can hang on to this lead to get to get her back in the game. But Great time for Parker Shackle to take advantage of it without her in there. Yeah, Horatio's just going to try to survive for the next four minutes. Going to get a bump right there, and that was... be on Frisbee. I think that was a good call right there. I feel like she, they, she got fouled. That's down inside for Glasgow right there. She'll get another basket. Frisbee bringing it all the way down. And she'll score. So trading baskets right here. Maybe the offense starting to pick up a little bit. Glasgow again misses the shot. Big rebound by Rivers. She's got is that six six rebounds for Rivers tonight so far. So Horatio nursing a three point lead. Oh, steal right there. And Glasgow is tipped. Uh, Frisbee's going to track it down. And now she's just out running everybody. She's got some numbers. She's going to pull up and gets blocked. But that's a good one. Who cleans up the, the block shot, and she's going to get fouled. So she's going to go to the line of shoot, too. Yeah, 
Let me show I need it one more second without fouling. Yeah. For the shot clock. I didn't even notice the shot clock. It was down to one. Down to Man. One. Three minutes left to go in the third quarter. for Horatio. Nice cut right there. Tracks it down. Good defense by Frisbee. She knocks the ball out of there and Parker Shelton comes away with it. Frisbee's going to drive in. She's going to throw one up. And they're going to get the foul. She's going to go back to the line of shoot two. First free throw up and no good for Frisbee. And here comes Ray back into the game. With four fouls. I did not expect to see her that quick. She, only, she, she said less than two minutes, but the lead dwindled down to one. So. Yeah, you're going to get it back in there and just say go for it. She's going to have to do a great job of being smart, moving her feet well, bailing out sometimes if she has to. She's too valuable for Horatio to be out of the game, so she has to give a layup, not to foul. And she might have to do that on occasion. Gonna pick up another foul there. That one's gonna be on Dorsey. We're gonna get a timeout from Horatio. Parker Chapel with a lot of momentum after the last couple possessions. A lot of emotions in a game that's got a lot of, a lot of time left. Yep. We got a tie ball game. Parker Chapel, Frisbee will be back at the line to shoot two. third quarter. This is the second. Horatio with the lead. Three point shot. Good. Nice shot there. We don't have a 23 on the roster for Horatio. I'm not sure who that is. Maybe I want to say Williamson. Williamson. Maybe somebody from Horatio can help us out there. The roster we had didn't have a 23 on it. Shot up, no good. Rebound, offensive rebound by Rivers, and she's going to score. Tie the game back up. Defense! 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 
23 left to go in the third. Horatio's giving it another try without Ray on the court. Yep. Got her out of there for another for a break. Oh, there's good play. That's a good seal right there by Rivers. I don't know uh, that I would do anything different if I was Parker's Chapel, but go back to her until they can stop it. Tough call right there. I'm not a fan of it. Horatio's gonna go to the line of shoot too. That's a good one. Four. Yeah. First free throws up and good. Gets both of them, ties the game back up. Under a minute left to go in the quarter. Tip ball, gonna stay here with Parker's Chapel. Frisbee drives in. Kind of, kind of. Throws the ball up, a little out of control on that one. Uh, Rivers grabs it, but the Lions are going to tie it up. So we'll get a jump ball, and it'll stay with Parker's Chapel. Throw it into Frisbee. She goes up. No good. The ratio with a rebound. 30 seconds left to go in the third. Tie ball game. Horatio's number 12, Sidwell, that's her turn. Two seconds left in the quarter. Rivers is going to go to the line to shoot two. Misses the free throw. Ray's going to check back in for this last two seconds. Usually with two seconds, you leave the person with four. Yeah, I don't know that it's going to help too much. I mean, the worst, I guess, to get a rebound, make sure, but don't have a lot of time to get a good shot off. She does get the rebound, and that is it for the third quarter. Top. Thirty-two, thirty-two. A little bit more offense in that quarter, but still not at all. Yeah. A little back and forth. out to start the fourth quarter. The town ball game. It'll be the ratio ball. We've got a couple players in foul trouble for both teams. Uh, 
horse. I'm glad I'm, I don't have a dog in a fight because usually a tie game going in the fourth quarter is not yeah. good for the heart. Yeah. Or the blood pressure. Big shot right there by Glasgow. Gives the Horatio Lady Lions a lead. Oh, trying to force it down inside. Not a bad idea, but I don't think Rivers is quite ready for it. And Horatio had two on her, so it's a turnover. We got our freshman back in the game for Horatio. Played pretty well in the first half. Pass down inside. That's what goes up and misses. Pretty good defense. We get a jump ball after that shot. Eight times out of ten in this game when they've thrown it up like that. They've, yeah, they're getting, the yeah, they're getting a foul call. Didn't get it that time. It looks like Coach from Ratio is going to make some substitutions on the dead balls right here. Getting uh, Ray out uh, while on defense. Ratio's really looking to double on Rivers down there now. Glasgow came flying over from that, that uh, lane spot to keep her from getting the ball. They're swinging around, so, but Rivers comes up with the offensive rebound and she's going up strong. Steal by Parker Chapel and the basket. Horatio's going to get a timeout. After two baskets right there by Parker Chapel gives them the lead. That was Morgan on the steal. Their offensive rebound away on Rivers as a double double. Horatio with the ball. There's another turnover. Britt Frisbee trying to run it down and lost it. And she's going to reach back and grab a hold of the Lady Lion and call the foul. That was a foul. Frisbee, that's her third. And Horatio will have the ball. And steal there. Tip out by Rivers and Parker's Chapel gonna have it back. Horatio's having a hard time getting the ball past half court. Uh oh, three ball. Oh, just off the front of the rim. No good. Horatio with a rebound. Ray back in the game. She's weaving through the traffic. She's going up. She's gonna get fouled. He's going to go to the line of shoot, too. with the ball. She's driving in, bullying her way in for a basket. 
That was Ray Gardner, and Ray couldn't do anything but just stand there. She had to let her score because she's got four fouls. I tell you what, I like little Lockby, the freshman in here, scrapping. She hustles. She's the littlest girl out there on the floor. She's getting after it. That's impressive to come in in a regional tournament and make a difference. And she's done that a little bit. Nice pass. There's Rivers again. Chapel with a four point lead. Skip pass. Wide open three. Boom. Knocked it down. That was 23 again. Again, sorry, Horatio fans. Not sure who that is. We don't have her on our roster. Forty-six left to go. Horatio down one with the ball. Ray's looking to get a, get a shot. She gets a shot off. Little jumper bounces around all over the rim, but misses. And Parker Shepard pulls it out. And Parker Chapel's going to get a timeout. You, but this is the game. Uh, this is the kind of game you want. Regional yeah, absolutely. Uh, on the girls' side, the girls' bracket, man, every game has been close so far. They've been tough games, back and forth, uh, and this has been a good one as well. And you like that, especially when it comes tournament time. Uh, well, I do. Like you said, you do. We don't have a dog in the fight. Uh, my team, I like to blow up. Yeah, absolutely. There's a reason I don't have any hair on my head. because my <laughs> and uh, My beard's turning gray. It's because my kids made that happen. My last few years, they've been giving me many heart attacks and many strokes during basketball season. <laughs> so here we go. Coming back out of the timeout here. Going to be... Parker Chapel Hall. Nursing a one point lead. Each team with a player with four fouls. Oh, good hands on the ball. Uh, by Lockby there again. Gets to the elbow. That's a big shot by Goodwin. Oh, tip ball. Frisbee's all over the place. Lob inside. Oh, wow. Oh, that's on the foul. Oh. That's another one though, Easton, like I said earlier, you gotta forget about it, flush it. Whether it was the right call or not, you gotta move on. And you got, you got two minutes and 58 seconds left for your season. So you gotta move on and you gotta go play. Battle through some adversity. Let's see what happens, Frisbee with the ball. Gets it down inside. Tack and Ray. Ray can't do anything but stand there. Oh, 
break the defense right there. But then it right to the other team. Frisbee looks to attack. He's going to kick it out. Three point shot up. Oh, just long. And Horatio gets the rebound. The Perkins Chapel fans would have went nuts in that moment. From 23 for the ratio. Pulls him back with within one. Pass up ahead, down the lane. Block shot by Ray. That was a good defensive stop right there. Ray did a good job of getting a hand on that ball without fouling. We're under two minutes to go. Frisbee, no numbers, so she's going to pull it out. And now set something up. 1.30 left to go. Rivers working hard. They're going to, it looks like they're going to front her down there. Try to keep her from getting it. Nice pass inside. A oh, little up and under, no good. Ray with it. Driving the lane, kick over, out to 23. Oh, that one's way off. Rivers with another rebound, under a minute left to go. Parker Chapel with the ball and a one point lead. Frisbee driving the lane, and that's going to be it. She's going to go over the line for two, and Ray's done. Fifth foul. All right. So we got 48 seconds left in the game. Frisbee's at the line to shoot two. One point lead for Parker's Chapel. First free throw up and good. Regardless of what happens here, it's still a one possession game. Gets the roll on the second one. We're going to get a timeout. Full timeout. Three point lead for Parker's Chapel. Intense game right here. Parker Chapel fans going crazy behind us. I, mean, I feel like they feel like they're up more than three because Ray's out of the game. Yeah, yeah, they definitely uh, know that's a good thing for them. Somebody from Horatio's going to have to step up. You know, 23 has hit a hit a three in the game, and she's shot several of them, so you know she's probably a shooter. Uh, I know they've been working on that outside shot, but the problem is we're playing inside, Easton. So, but just take one basket right here to tie it back up. Frisbee's gonna have it. They're gonna 
have to foul. We don't have a shot clock, so there's the foul. Frisbee's fired up. 21 seconds left. No free throws yet. Still just three fouls apiece right here. So Parker Chapman's going to have to get an inbounds in a couple times. They got it stacked up right here. Right in front of us. We're going to break it out. Got it in. Don't dribble it. And we're going to get a foul. 19 seconds left. Going to have to inbound one more time. Got it in. Frisbee's going to get fouled. So now we're going to go to the free throw line. 18 seconds left. You know, one, one free throw right here probably seals the deal for Parker Chapel. That's a lot of pressure. They got the person they want at the line, too. Yeah. Oh, that one bounces in and out, so... She misses this one. Horatio still got a chance. 18 seconds left. That's plenty of time to get the ball up the floor and get a good shot. Horatio with one timeout left. Got it. That might do it. You got to go. You ain't got time for this. Buzzer sound, but I didn't even hear it. Parker Chapel, Lady Trojans are going to pull out a big win here. 47-43. Tough, hard-fought game by both teams. Another good game. And Parker Chapel clinches their... Uh, Clinches their shot for the state tournament. Woo! That one was intense. Yeah, that's, every, that's everything we could have won. Yeah. So, we'll take a little break right here uh, and be back for the last game of the night. Spring Hill Bears against the Woodlawn. Uh, what is Woodlawn? <laughs> find out before the game. We'll be back in just a few minutes for